Hey guys, got a quick little video for you. A lot of times people are all about building up and making bigger rigs and carrying a bunch of stuff. And I've got a quick little trip I'm about to head out on. Going to Dallas, Texas, I have a friend whose family works for the ministry that feeds homeless people. So it's basically kind of a news shoot. We're just gonna spend all day running around shooting what they're doing and uh, hopefully showcase what they're doing and see if we can get other people to help them. So. Uh, I'm working with someone I've worked with before. I pretty much know all the parameters. And so what I wanted to do is kind of shrink all my stuff down. The goal was backpack. Me in a backpack, fly to Texas, shoot for a day, fly home. And so I bought the battery bracket for my 6K Pro and put it on yesterday. It went on easy, super easy directions. I didn't feel like I needed to do a tutorial. One cool little note is that you pull a little card, a little door off the bottom of your camera to make this work. There's a place on the battery to put that little card, so that little door so you don't lose it. That I, That's like the most important thing. I thought that was great. So the idea was is that I just wanted to make this as small as possible and really get in and, and, and um, be as nimble as possible. With the three bricks on this, it's pretty heavy it's pretty beefy and um, I mean I guess I knew it but that's that's still it's gonna take some work to to run around shooting like this now granted it's not all day it's not like you know it's running around getting shots and then coming back so I want to show you again I'm not sponsored I don't have people sending me stuff so I'm cobbling together what I have and so this bag is some is a bag I bought somewhere in Asia years ago and I'm just making it work. So it's hodgepodge. There's like dividers from other things and that's okay. I took the little rubber eyepiece off. I have it in a little bag in here so that it will pack and not fall off in transit and all that. So um, I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. It's all just the camera itself. I put some quality headphones in here. If, if you don't have headphones on, you're not recording audio. It's just that simple. Like I know right now I don't have headphones on, but if you're shooting and you're just going by the levels, uh, that's my first indication that I shouldn't work with you again. Because if you're not listening, you know, static makes levels move just as much as anything else. Listen to your audio while you're shooting. Duh. All right, old guy rant, enough of that. So. Um, I didn't even want to bring a tripod. And so I have this monopod, which I actually like. I've used variances of it before. So this with my little multi-tool are what I'm going to put in my check bag. That's hopefully all I'm going to put in my check bag. It has these little feet on it that let it stand. I wouldn't walk away from it, but it really helps if you want to tweak a wireless or you want to do something. Um, and I absolutely love monopods. I love it because I don't have to be handheld. I can walk around, set it where I want, put the camera on it, get a steady shot, move on. Also, if you're running and gunning, you can turn it upside down, flip the monitor, and now you got doggy cam. If you're strong enough, you can walk around, and now you've got a glide cam. The monopod is super, super important piece of equipment for running and gunning. So, Multi-tool monopod go in my suitcase because I've left too many multi-tools I forgot about at airports. So try not to do that. I had an old, yes, an old fanny pack that had lenses on it. So I took these old lens bags and I was able to put my wirelesses inside. And so I'm using these for little wireless bags. So I have two wirelesses and I have them in these bags. I always try and go with at least three of anything that I need. So for audio, I have a microphone, which I'll show you, boom, and then two wirelesses. So I'm three mistakes deep before I run out of audio. Um, in here, I have the trusty 28 to 135 that everybody probably has. That'll be like the, the everyday lens i'll be carrying the 14 which is what i'm shooting this on now and um 
one thing that I loved was that I was able to charge all three of my Blackmagic batteries in the camera. So I just plug this in, all three are charged, should give me about three hours of shoot time. So I'm pretty happy about that. And then I brought these little battery chargers uh, and my two spare batteries. Also, I always number my batteries. I hate like having a pouch and not knowing which ones are charged and which ones are not. Pick a number, go chronologically that day. It doesn't, you don't have to start with one. You don't need to wear out battery number one. But if I know I started on three today, then I'll go three, four, five, back around to one. And at least I know which ones are charged, which ones are not. So I have my bag, which I love this bag. It's from, it came with my shape gear bag, which I've done a review on. Uh, and I love this bag. So this is all my cables. I've got an XLR cable. I've got the stuff for my wirelesses. I've got HDMI, all that jazz, nice and neat in the cable bag. In the clear part, I have like a Rode mic with the little mini input that I normally run on the camera. But I thought, you know what? If we're doing interviews and I want to like have my friend hold a mic for someone during an interview, I thought, well, if I bring my XLR shotgun and use this for gnats, then I can just pull it off, run the cable, have her hold it outside the frame, and I can get decent stuff without even having to use the wirelesses. So, especially in a quick situation, then that's the way it is. An old lens bag that's got little stuff in it, it's got the extra hard drive or SSD and uh, all that jazz and some stickers in case anybody cares. So, I've got three microphones, one very versatile one, all my cables, the camera, a good set of headphones, and that's the backpack. I have uh, little ditties that I might carry in another carry-on because I got to bring my laptop because we're going to edit while I'm there. So it's going to be this backpack. And if I can't get it all in this, then I'll bring another like a briefcase or like a, a messenger bag or something like that. Uh, I have another little tip. I got, I did get the, uh, I got a couple of uh, pocket lights. So this is a little aperture light I have in here. If I need to, I feel like I can do with my wits without one. And then, by the way, these little Nintendo Switch cases are great. I use them for hard drive bags. I can put two external hard drives in here and cables. It's wonderful. And I was struggling with how I wanted to pack the other light that I got. And it works great. I still have, I even have room if I want to put some other cables in here. I got the little Frosty and the Honeycomb and even like the tiny little tripod, all fits in here nice with room to spare. And so this will go in my, in my laptop bag, but nice and neat, it's already padded, good to go, and you know what's in it when you look at it. So I love these things. I use them for, I, I use it for hard drives, use it for everything else. So I think that's pretty much it. I'm, I've got a backup in case we do end up doing some sort of a sit down interview. I have the little, 50, which is the most biggest bang for the buck ever. It's like 150 bucks and you can even get them at Best Buy, but that little 50, 1.4 is legit. So um, that's it. That's my run and gun kit. Uh, I have the, I have the handle for the rig here. Um, and then I have the little, the little rubber eyepieces for the back. I brought all of them in case I'm going to start trying out the big one. I've been using the little ones. But anyways, that's my run and gun kit. I think a, once you get to a point where you can go by your wits, you can go lean. This is about as lean as I would like to go with still having enough backup in case I get in trouble. Um, I'm going to do a video later on about reflectors. You can go to Lowe's. You can buy the stuff. You can make a reflector in a parking lot. Um, reflector is even more important than a monopod. So we'll do a, we'll do a whole video on that. But that's my rig. Uh, down and dirty, nice and quick, and uh, we'll see how it works out.